Did you know a comma can make or break your destiny? Yes, you heard it correct. A small comma can significantly change your life. Okay, it can change the percentage shareholding in the property and lot more. Stay with me till the end of this video and I will help you decode this further. So friends, let me give a sentence to you. Okay. So this is the sentence right in front of you. And the only difference between these two sentences is a comma. Okay, so you see a comma before and in sentence two. You see this. And you do not see any comma before and in sentence one. So what is correct? What is incorrect? Whether we should have a comma in, you know, before and or whether we shouldn't have a comma. What is it? So friends, let me decode this for you. If you do not have a comma before and, just like in sentence one, daughter and son. Okay, so there is no comma here. I will treat daughter and son as one entity. Okay, so when I treat daughter and son as one entity, which means the entire empire. Okay, say for example, it holds a percentage share of 100%. This will be divided, this 100% will be divided between three people. Okay, so divide, so there is wife, there is mother, daughter and son. Okay, they are treated as one. So this 100% gets divided amongst three, which means each, each person mentioned in the sentence is eligible for a percentage share of 33.33% each. This means that daughter and son, daughter and son together will get a share of 33.33%, which means individually they are eligible for 16.67% each. Now, this is the interpretation when there is no comma in the sentence. Okay. However, when there is a comma in the sentence, just like in sentence two, what is, what is the interpretation? So with this comma, which is, which exists before and I will divide the hundred percent share of the property amongst four members. Now, which are these four members? Wife, mother, daughter, and son. Okay. Which means each member is eligible for 25% share in the property. So which means daughter and son, which, you know, who were earlier eligible for 16.67% each, that was without comma, with comma, they get a share of 25% each. Okay, let me repeat this for you. Daughter and son who were earlier eligible for 16.67 percentage of the property okay that was without comma as soon as the comma came into the sentence what happened they are eligible for directly 25 percent you know share in the property look at this look at the difference okay now grammatically speaking friends grammatically speaking both sentences are absolutely correct. However, the interpretation differs drastically. You have seen that. So with a comma, what was the percentage share? And without a comma, what is a percentage share? You have seen this for you. I have often seen students, you know, having, um, you know, a misconception that there cannot be a comma before and. They often tell me, should we put comma before and? Okay, because this is what they have learned in their school, that there shouldn't be any comma before and. However, friends, that's incorrect. That's absolutely incorrect. A comma which comes before and, okay, is known as Oxford comma. And this comma was introduced by Oxford University. Why was it introduced by Oxford University? You have seen it. You have understood it. So with comma, what is the interpretation? Without comma, what is the interpretation? You have seen it for yourself, okay? So hence, there is definite, there, you know, comma is definitely uh, 
can come before and comma can definitely come before and okay it, it is not that it cannot come it can definitely come however you need to be very clear in your communication as to what is your objective so say for example my objective is to give 16.67% share in the property only to my daughter and son then definitely i will opt not to put a comma before and but if my objective is to you know divide my property equally amongst all the four members i will definitely i will definitely add a comma before and so it is imperative that you understand when should you add the comma and when should you delete the comma okay let's go to another sentence now this sentence i have picked up from a very famous chicago based magazine that is you know tales the name of the magazine is tales it is uh, about pet pets okay if you, you if you see this there is a sentence here racial ray finds inspiration in cooking her family and her dog now there is no punctuation added in this sentence and because of which this magazine was trolled big time on twitter okay because you what is the interpretation of this sentence without a comma which means racial ray finds inspiration in cooking her family she likes to cook her family she likes to cook her dog which is absolutely not what i intend to say so what do i intend to say i intend to say that she finds inspiration in cooking okay in cooking that's one in her family and her dog so what what is needed here is comma and without a comma the meaning of the sentence changes drastically okay so a comma can change your life comma is very important so know the do's and don'ts of commas friends let me show another sentence to you again a bit funny one okay so now you have two sentence you have one sentence with different uh, you know with different placements of commas so you have comma here you have comma here you have comma here you have comma here however you do not have a comma before and in sentence 1 and you do know and you have a comma before and in sentence 2 now which one is correct obviously the second one is correct because this comma helps me differentiate between the husband and the dog okay and if i do not place a comma before and i treat husband and dog as one which is unfair to the husband okay which is funny which is unfair okay so a comma is definitely needed in order to you know show the difference between the husband and dog i cannot treat husband and dog and dog as one entity and because i cannot treat dog and husband as one entity a comma is mandatory a comma is mandatory so this one is correct this one is incorrect you will find many such questions if you are preparing your child if you are if you yourself if you are a student watching this video if you are preparing for your competitive exams especially in exams like sat sat okay bank po you know these questions are very popular punctuation based questions so don't just learn the rules of commas for the sake of exam but know it for the sake of language okay because when you read property papers when you read important documents important emails the role of punctuations is integral it's significant yeah so yes now this sentence i have given you all friends and i'm really expecting you to comment and give me the right answer so there is it's the same sentence with different placement of punctuations different placement of comma okay so i find snow capped mountains and deserts enchanting okay so there, there's a full stop here this one is correct or this one is correct i find snow capped mountains and deserts enchanting so should we have a comma before and in this sentence or should we not have a comma before and which one is correct you will comment and let me know and in case if you want to see any you know any other uh, details about the punctuations or anything pertaining to applied grammar where you should use grammar you can comment and tell me i will definitely make videos and share fruitful content valuable content with you Okay friends so see you soon in the next video thank you so much bye